Hey guys, Slickfy here, and welcome to another Career Mode Player Review. Today we're going to be having a look at Levin Ostanali, a player that received a lot of attention at the start of FIFA 15, but has since dropped off a little bit. But I thought I would review him today regardless, and if you guys enjoy the review today, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, and drop a comment down below on any more players that you want me to be reviewing before the release of FIFA 16. But anyways, let's get into the review today. At the start of career mode, Ostanali is a 67 rated center attacking mid, 18 years old, showing great potential and has a value of 600,000, but he has a bit of a tricky situation. He is on loan at Werder Bremen, and for some reason he, he stays there for two years, so you can't actually pick him up until year three of career mode, if that makes sense. And by that time, Bayer Leverkusen say you have to pay 14 million for him because of course he's grown quite a bit in his overall rating which is a little bit ridiculous in my opinion and is actually a considerable factor when thinking about whether to pick him up but we'll look at his player information and you can see he can play a wide range of positions and that has to be one of his best attributes he plays the center attacking mid by default but I think he fits best at the center mid position he can also play center defensive mid he has medium medium work rates he's right footed four star weak foot and three star skill moves doesn't have any traits and no specialties to start off with but if we take a look at his attributes you can see he for a 67 raider they aren't half bad a lot of those in the yellow for the physical and then he has some good technical attributes He's got good ball control good dribbling and pretty good passing as well but let's take a look at what he looks like when he's 30 years old so for the save that I had Ostanali on, he reached an 85 overall. I think with the newest updates, he has a potential of 86, so he can probably reach a little bit higher than what I got him to. But he reaches a value of 21 million, which is a growth of about 20 million or so because he starts off under 1 million. And if we take a look, he doesn't actually pick up any specialties, which is one of the first players that I've reviewed that don't have any specialties by the time they reach their peak, which is a little bit unfortunate, but he has some great attributes. His physical attributes don't grow too much, just the reactions really, but the technical attributes receive a lot of growth, a lot in the 20s and some even in the 30s. And some notable ones, the ball control 98, the dribbling 97, the long passing 98, and then over to the right column, short passing 96, shot power 88, and standing tackle 93, a bit surprising there. But I'll talk about his pros and cons here in the goals and highlights to follow. In general, Ostanoli had to be one of the most versatile players I've used in the midfield. You can play him at the center attacking mid, the center mid, or the center defensive mid position, even at the winger if you manage to get his physical attributes to grow, which I unfortunately was not able to do that to a great extent. But if those went up a little bit, I think you could definitely play him at the winger position with his dribbling. And that moves into his second pro. His dribbling is on point. 98 ball control and 97 dribbling. That ball stays on his foot all the time. His passing is also quite good. 96 short passing and 98 long passing means he can pick out your strikers or your wingers, wherever you want to play him. And his last pro that I have listed is his defending. He has 81 marking and 93 standing tackle, which is quite good for a player that's by default a center attacking mid. Like I mentioned earlier, I would recommend playing him at center mid because I feel that's where he performs best. But he has a few cons, and the first one being his stamina. It's only 65. His second con is his shooting. He has 61 finishing, which is atrocious for an 85 rated center attacking mid. And his final con is his price. Unfortunately, you can't pick him up until year three, and by then he costs roughly about 12 million, which in my opinion, it's not worth it. If you could pick him up at the start of career mode for under a million, he would be one of my first purchases in any career mode, but unfortunately that's not the case. So his overall rating is gonna be an 8.8, .8, but his value for his price is gonna be 8.0. So a pretty decent player and a pretty fun player to use but definitely not the best player and not a standout player in FIFA 15 career mode. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed the review today. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next review, this has been Flickify. I'll be talking to you all again soon. Hi everyone, to start off this meeting, I'll be taking questions from the media, so please fire away with your questions. Micah Richards is the kind of player that I think would fit very well into this team. However, a major question is his expenses. And I've been in talks with the team.